Please give Marty Hartman a big round of applause, the ED of uh, Mary's Place. And thank you so much for being here with us tonight and sharing your story. Good evening. I'm JJ McKay, and I'm chairman of the board of Mary's Place. And every day, I have the blessing of working with our executive director and our team to make a difference in kids' lives. How many of you enjoyed Halloween this year? Your kids dressed up, they got candy, it was crazy fun. You know what? The 250 kids at Mary's Place did the exact same thing. They dressed up, they went trick-or-treating, and they had fun. Our goal is to make sure that no child sleeps outside on a night like tonight. Marty has been an incredible visionary to make this happen, but things like this only work with a lot of people. They say it takes a village, and it takes more than that. It takes a heart, and we have those people. We're very blessed in our program to have a lot of supporters. We, we help parents and moms with special needs kids. We help kids with cancer who are recovering and in chemo. We help kids get dressed for the morning with cereal, and we tuck them in at night. And more importantly, when a woman comes to our shelter, bruised, eight months pregnant, and pained in areas where she shouldn't be pained at that moment, we give them the one thing they need most, love and an open door. That's what we do each and every day. We don't judge, we love. We don't ask questions, we hug. And when time comes right, we help them find a solution. Now we have a program where we help women who haven't worked in a while, who've had kids and all that, help them get back on their feet by working for us and letting them be interns and giving them those job skills and more importantly, the resume skills. And let me just tell you, thanks to people like you out here who are supporting us, we're partnering with the Hotel Association and other companies to help these women who come to us because their life's been shattered because they have been told they're worthless, to suddenly have an employer say, I think you could do this. It's mind-blowing to them. And we're getting them back on their feet. 90% of our families wind up never being homeless again. But if you've ever been bruised, if you've ever had a cut, the pain goes away like this, but the scar lasts for a long time. Help us make those scars go away. And most importantly, when you come here tonight, think about a child whose mom is homeless at four because of domestic violence, shouldn't have that come back and haunt them when they're 40 because they have brittle bones, because they had no food, they miss school. What if you said to your child, I'm gonna take you out of school for nine months, just for the hell of it. We don't want that. We, try to get, we can get them back in school in three days. Now what I wanna do to you is if you'll give this great attention to one of my heroes, Zanita, who is not only beautiful and fabulous, but works for us, and has done an incredible job. So give a big round of applause for her. I don't think that I'm that amazing, but. Um, sorry. So, okay, hi. So my name is Zanita, and I am a domestic violence survivor. My. I'm very happy to say that um, my four sons and I went through a um, horrible, I would say, domestic violence relationship. They, I say us because they went through it with me. Um, I was with a, a closet drinker, I would say, because I didn't. Re he never drank around me. Um, but as he would be home, I would turn into the devil like an hour later and things. Um, and this lasted for maybe a year. 
I knew I needed to leave um, when my two youngest sons and I were in the car with him um, and he was driving pretty erratic and he ended up doing about 60 and smashed us into the back of a car um, and kept going and he had broke my nose and busted my eye open. Um, and I think that's really when I got sick and tired of making excuses. Um, so I moved away from him. I left and I moved my kids to safety, I thought. Um, but about a month maybe after we had moved, there was a knock at the door and it was kind of late at night. And my older son at that time, who was 16, um, answered the door and said that my ex was there. And so my son ended up going back to his room um, and my ex came into my room and shut the door. And I just remember this horrible feeling coming over me the moment he said, I will kill you before anybody comes to get you. I remember trying to call my friend. I remember screaming. Um, my older son came in as my abuser was on me, choking me, and I passed out. Next thing I remember was the police and ambulance there. They didn't get my abuser that day. They said the trail had, the scent had ended in the middle of the street, which meant somebody brought him there to find me. Um, he ended up going to jail. I testified against him. Um, yes. I didn't realize he had seven pages of violent offenses against women that I didn't even know about. And if I wouldn't have testified, I would have never found that out. So I'm very thankful that I saved not just myself, but many women to come. Um, so I couldn't get into domestic violence shelters. After testifying against him, we got death threats, had to leave my home. And so we ended up at a day of caring and I found a booth for Mary's place. And that was the beginning of an amazing life now and future that I have had. Um, the, the groups, the classes, the community, the, my boys not having to be separate from me, I think really helped our lives get back together. And so now fast forward, I am happily working for Mary's Place, loving every minute of it. So tonight, there are 500 families like Zanita's running for their lives. We're finding them in porta potties because they can lock the door. We're finding them barricaded behind dumpsters. We're finding them hiding in their cars and in tents on sidewalks. All of those are unacceptable to us. We know that they are unacceptable to you. We can, in this community, make sure that there is a shelter for every one of those families that are running tonight. We have 400 beds, not enough, not enough. So we leave them outside and we tell them, I'm sorry, just keep trying, stay safe, come back tomorrow, not acceptable. We are on a path at Mary's Place to open up 700 more beds, to have 1,100 beds because you know why? That's how many beds we need to get all of those 500 families inside tonight. We know it will be you. And you and you because we can all do our part. Mary's Place cannot do this by ourselves. These families need you. They're depending on you because they need to come inside. Help us tonight. It's $15 a night to bring a child inside, to bring their mom inside and to make sure that they're safe and warm and together and alive. Please do what you can to help us love them, to bring them in and do some more. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, that is why we are here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, that is why we are here tonight. You've heard from multiple people and you know why we're here and you know why we've gathered. And they have a vision. And we are going to complete that vision together. 
That said, tonight we're looking for 100% participation, and we hope that you can find a way to help Mary's place. That being said, we're going to start at a high level of donations, and we're going to move to a lower level, and we hope we find a level that works for you. But that being said, we're going to start at a lofty level of $5,000. And if anybody in this room would be so bold to lead the charge here tonight and ignite this community into giving all they can at the $5,000 level, it would be very, very appreciated. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've all gathered together. So let's celebrate the fact that we are changing lives here tonight. Let's have a round of applause and support Mary's Place the levels to come and raise a bunch of money and get those 700 more beds. We're now moving to the $2,500 level of giving. And if $2,500 works for you, please raise your card high in the air at this time. At the $2,500 level, would any family choose to give at this time? That's okay. If we wouldn't ask, we wouldn't have succeeded there. So, and he said, yes, I would. Ladies and gentlemen, Marcus Trufant chooses to give at the $2,500 level. Give a round of applause for the Trufant family and all they choose to do for our community on the weekends and obviously the weekdays. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that $250 or $2,500 gift. We appreciate you. We're now moving on to the $1,000 level of giving. And if $1,000 works for you, please raise your card high in the air at this time and watch the cards fly. Number 456 says, I choose to give at $1,000. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's right, let's clap for these folks. As well as 392 choosing to give at $1,000. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Would anybody else be so bold and choose to give at the $1,000 level? Well, let's give those two families another big round of applause. And here's the third. Number two, number 362 choosing to give. 362 also choosing to give at $1,000. That's three families who choose to give at the $1,000 level. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're now moving on to the $500 level of giving. And if $500 works for you, please raise your hand with Mary's place in mind at the $500 level. Thank you. Number 356 choosing to give at $500. That's right. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your $500 gift. Would anybody else choose to give at $500? Well, let's celebrate that family who chose to give. Please give Terry and his family a big round of applause, as well as 455. 455 also chooses to give at $500. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's right. We're raising money, folks, and we have a goal in mind, and we're going to find it. We're now going to move to the $250 level of giving, and if $250 works for you, please raise your cards. But number 359 chooses to give at $250. Thank you for supporting Mary's Place, as well as you, sir. You choose to give. Thank you. On behalf of the Jeff and his family. Please give Jeff and his family a round of applause. Thank you, thank you. Brady. Brady and his family. Please give Jeff and Brady a round of applause for helping us complete the community and give those individuals the option and an escape route for when they are in their time of need. Would anybody else choose to give at $250? Well, let's thank those families again and all the families who have chosen to give. Thank you, thank you. We're now moving on to our last level of giving. It's the $100 level of giving. And we're looking for 100% participation. If you can find it in your heart to give it $100, we'd be greatly appreciated and watch the many cards fly. Number 458 says, I choose to give at $100. Thank you. Number 361, thank you for choosing to give. Number 454, thank you for your gift. Number 457, choosing to give at $100. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all those families, as well as 369. 369 also gives at $100. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a lot of families who chose to give. I understand maybe not everybody has a bid card or maybe we didn't hit a level that works for you here tonight. And if that's the case, please see us at checkout and know that any dollar raised, we are very thankful of and we appreciate any gift you choose to give. As you heard, it's $15 a day to keep a kid inside for the night and give him a place to sleep. So if you can find it in your heart to give at any place, we would definitely appreciate it. That said... We just raised a bunch of money. Everybody, round of applause for Mary's Place and what you've chosen to do. You're out here on a Friday night. You're doing good for the community, and you're giving back and making this place a better place, this world and our community we live in.